All right, guys, uh, today I'm making a quick video on how to create validation rules using multi-select pick lists. And what that means is that we are trying to uh, effectively create an error on this page uh, based on the value in a multi-select pick list field. Uh, so I've already got this set up, but I'm going to walk you guys through how we did that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this. We're on an account detail page right now. So if we go to the account and we take a look at one of our test accounts, then we have three fields here that we're going to be looking at today. And one is the multi-select stage. The other is left voicemail date. And the other is made contact over email date. And the way we've got this set up is that these two fields are required based on the value we have in the multi-select stage. So if I choose left voicemail and I try to save this record, it's going to give me an error saying I must fill in the left voicemail date uh, if I'm going to choose in the multi-select stage the left voicemail. So we have to choose a date here and then it will let us save it. Similarly, if we fill in the stage with made contact over email and we save the record, we're going to get this error. Um, it's the exact same thing except for if we chose made contact over email, um, then we have to fill in the made contact over email date. So we fill in a date here and click save. So basically what we're doing there is, is when our, our reps come in and they, they fill in the multi-select stage field, they're going to be forced to choose a date that they left a voicemail or choose a date that they contacted the, the uh, clients or whoever it may be over email. Um, and, and that allows uh, for, for reporting for um, whoever's managing or trying to take a look at these reports to, to keep up with uh, the, the dates that these uh, events took place, right? So, uh, validation rules are pretty simple, but um, multi-select pick list values um, can sometimes cause trouble. And I'll, I'll show you how we set this up. So um, obviously this is a date field and left voicemail date is a date field. Make contact over email date is a date field. And the multi-select stage is a multi-select pick list field. So if I take a look at our validation rules, I can show you how we've set those up. And we have the left voicemail date required and made contact over email date required validation rules. So the way that we have to set this up is a little, uh, is a little odd uh, because of the way Salesforce views multi-select pick lists. So what we really need to do is use this includes function. And basically what that's checking is it's saying, does the multi-select stage field include the text left voicemail. And so obviously if we fill in left voicemail in our multi-select stage field, that's going to be true. And it checks to see if the left voicemail date is blank. So basically you filled in left voicemail for your multi-select and left voicemail date is blank. So when both of these events are true, it triggers an error to display on the page. And that's when our error pulls up. And then we choose a field for it to display beside. So if we're looking at the left voicemail date field, we put the error beside the left voicemail date field on the page. So that's kind of how that works. Um, and the reason we say includes is because we want to leave space for what if it says left voicemail and it says something else. Well, the, the includes field allows multiple things to be in the multi-select pick list, but it just checks to see if left voicemail is somewhere in there. So it doesn't have to be only left voicemail. It can be left voicemail and a number of other things. Uh, it's, just, it's just looking for this particular text uh, to, to be included. So we did the exact same thing with the made contact over email. You can see all I did was I cloned the other validation rule for left voicemail and I just tossed in a, a little bit different verbiage. So made contact over email and when made contact over email date is blank. So when both of these are true, 
it fires this error message. And you can see we've added make contact over email here. And that's how we guarantee that dates are filled in uh, for these stages that are chosen on the account. So I believe that's pretty straightforward. Um, it's really just understanding how multi-select pick lists are used in validation rules. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, or if anything kind of seems out of place in the video, please leave a comment. Uh, so if, if you guys uh, have any questions around what was just shown here, or, or just any comments in general, uh, please leave those in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.